I, I don't need to have like a, a cameo in here, so it's okay. Everyone ready? Smile into the camera. <laughs> Hello, welcome everyone. Um, here we are back with one of our Azure Stack Hub Partner Solution videos. And today I'm here to uh, talk to Binbox, which has not, which is pre about to present another Azure Stack Hub solution and is a very strong Azure Stack Hub partner. Um, so welcome everyone uh, to this call. Uh, Tibi, uh, you want to quickly introduce the company and what you're doing? Hello, Thomas. Thank you very much. Uh, we are Binbox Global Services, one of the first uh, Azure Stack operators from, from Europe. We, we saw in Azure Stack a big opportunity for us to diverse our uh, portfolio. We offer different kind of clouds, but nothing as good as Azure Stack. Uh, we got very nice support from Microsoft to, to have it because at that time it wasn't yet available in, in Romania. In time, we learn it because it was a, a period where, where we need to learn it, not just from a technical point of view, but also from sales and commercial point of view. But now we, we are very strong on it. We also added up a few more. We have about 10, 10 stamps. And uh, we needed the opportunity to, to have a, a platform where we, we can integrate Azure Stack and public Azure. So we can give the clients the opportunity to have in one login, one page, one platform, the deployment, the billing, the administration, and so on. Because as we all know, there are some users or some applications that need low latency or they, they need data sovereignty, so they they need to use a platform in lo locally deployed. So with this hybrid cloud platform, we we hope to to hit the stage pretty well, and we already are thinking about even deploying in uh, Azure Stack stamps in Western Europe to integrate them also under this uh, this nice platform. Okay, no, that is that is awesome. So you're basically building um, this hybrid cloud platform for your customers, um, so they have the consistent experience using public Azure, but also running Azure Stack hubs um, locally in the countries where, like, they have data sovereignty challenges and networking. So this is absolutely awesome. So I see you also brought uh, two colleagues uh, with you. Uh, can you quickly introduce them to us as well? Yes, of course. Uh, one of them is Emmanuel, which is our chief uh, engineer on Azure Stack. He loves it and uh, he has great experience on it. And uh, the other one is Kosti, which is our uh, commercial and marketing manager. Oh, that is perfect. Now it's great to have you all in the call. So this is actually great. Uh, so I want to actually switch to uh, Kosti and talk a little bit about um, like what the customers are and like uh, we already had a little bit of an introduction why you built like Bingbox, Bingbox did build this solution, but maybe you can a little ex explain more what the advantages are of running in that environment and, and what you build up uh, because you have this impressive amount of already like different like amount of stamp, Azure Stack stamps. Um, so maybe you can explain a little bit what, what you're doing and how the solution looks like. Hi, uh, so uh, uh, I'm Kosti, just uh, first, uh, a first introduction by my, by, about myself. Uh, I'm Kosti Nakshu, I've been working for uh, in distribution uh, 14 years. I have received the uh, award from Microsoft Country Partner of the Year in 2017 in Washington. I have worked with thousands of Microsoft partners. I know many solutions and I came to Beanbox to help TB to develop uh, his plans to grow on Microsoft Azure. Uh, not only Azure Stack, also uh, Azure Public, so hybrid, let's say. So this uh, uh, solution uh, developed uh, with uh, Cloud Asset. It's, as a matter of fact, it's a multi-cloud environment. Uh, you can open with single sign-on. You can open, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, virtual machines in Azure public, Azure stack, VMware, 
you can also buy CSP licenses. Yeah, if you want to buy Microsoft 365, it's it's okay. It's in the same uh, platform. So this is this is super interesting. So we basically uh, are working together. What I heard uh, with Cloud Assert, which we also already had in one of our videos. Um, and you, if I really understand it correctly, you kind of like built this like single portal approach where customers can actually uh, subscribe to like Azure, but also Azure your Azure Stack Hub environment, and also as you mentioned, other services, CSP subscriptions, and so on, and they can get that from a single yep. platform. Yes, you can control uh, all these uh, uh, things in the, in the same platform. Uh, actually, you can have your infrastructure in uh, that platform together with the with licenses. Uh, you can uh, also uh, open uh, uh, Azure subscription subscriptions in uh, in this platform. I think there are not so so many solutions that can uh, uh, do that. Uh, you can open. Uh, you can uh, also access your virtual machine uh, directly from the portal. Okay, this is this is it, this is, it, is pretty pretty awesome uh, to have that like that single like con like the single uh, portal where the people like your customers can go and uh, get all of that and manage uh, resources. Now, um, what are your typical customers and why why are they basically choosing um, your solution? We have um, uh, customers from uh, all uh, industries, all uh, uh, type of uh, customers, SMB, enterprise. It's, uh, it's about customers uh, who uh, want uh, to not keep the, their infrastructure in uh, their own place. Own, own place. Usually we'll, we, uh, we have customers who want to use uh, our data center and uh, let's say 90% of them wants to use our data center and uh, I, I, we uh, succeed to uh, convince them that Azure Stack is the uh, best offer. Uh, of course, we, uh, we are not trying to uh, go only, to, only with Azure Stack. We want to, say, to convince them to use, to use hybrid because there are there are some functionalities that are not in Azure Stack. Uh, we also we will uh, we will put in this platform uh, solutions from ISVs, uh, developers, uh, all the all uh, the par all the partners who can uh, uh, combine uh, Azure with their solution. Or it doesn't matter. It can be Microsoft 365, uh, Exchange Online, or whatever. But uh, we will uh, uh, we'll have a marketplace not only for VMs, uh, Azure services. Yeah, we will have also a marketplace for partners. For software, to, to put their software there and automatically yeah. deploy in whatever platform. Yeah, so you're giving basically the customer the option and, and the flexibility to like basically choose where their workload is running, right? So if they decide, okay, hey, this is something we can run and take advantage of public Azure, it's fine. But if they have a workload which needs to stay, for example, in, in your specific location in your data center, you can yeah. offer that as well, and that that is that is absolutely great. Okay, this is this is great. I really love to see that. Uh, I haven't seen it before, so uh, I'm also very excited, and I'm happy to have Emmanuel on the call to actually uh, show me and tell me a little bit more about the solution and how it works, and especially like again, show it to me. That that would be awesome. So, hi Emmanuel, how are you doing? Hello, hello. I'm fine, thank you. Uh, so my name is Emmanuel Nagu. Uh, I'm working with uh, Bing Box since. 2018. So uh, yeah, I've been working since the first temp that we installed in uh, in Romania and also Eastern Europe, I guess. So since then, I kind of fall in love with the uh, with the environment and everything and the integration with Azure Public and, and so on. So uh, yeah, uh, it's been lovely working here. Awesome. No, I, I, I completely can understand that kind of like working with Azure Stack Hub and can be kind of like addictive at yes, one point in indeed. time, right? So they already promised me uh, that you were going to show me 
uh, a quick demo of the environment. And I'm also, by the way, like after that demo, I'm also interested to, see, to hear a little bit about how is the technical backend built and how do you do disaster recovery and things like that. But again, first, let's let's show me a quick demo about, and, and, and not just me, but also our viewers, a quick demo about the environment and your solution. Sure, sure. This is the, the platform, uh, hybrid.beambox.ro. So in this platform, we integrated, uh, as of now, five stamps, uh, Public Azure and uh, VMware. We are also uh, working on the disaster recover recovery with Beam and Convolve. So uh, we are trying to, uh, to make hybrid deployments for, for customers uh, that uh, let's say they want to keep the storage on a, on a platform, they want to keep compute on another platform, and they can combine all of those resources into, into one platform. So, so for that, we, we came up with, uh, with this platform uh, where you can uh, have a marketplace, a unified marketplace for all of the services. Uh, in our case, uh, we are offering CSP licenses uh, where you can buy directly from this portal. You don't have to go to your distribution and say, hey, I need a Active Directory P2. No, you, you just order it from here, like purchase, number of licenses, let's say five, six, and you just purchase the license and it's automatically assigned into your tenant. You don't have to do anything else. Okay, that is pretty cool. Yep, indeed. Uh, so, uh, except from the CSP licenses, which are a lot uh, from, from the CSP, uh, we are uh, also providing virtual machines where you can select directly the platform, the Center Azure Stack Azure. Okay. In this case, we just uh, added uh, one host for, for the Center. We added five hosts for, for Azure Stack, as you can see. Okay. And for public Azure, we just uh, added the, um, let me uncheck this one, the France Central as of now. But we are, uh, we are eager to, to add more, more uh, location into the future. So um, us, uh, we can also offer past services like uh, custom DBs, uh, web apps from 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 the from the hybrid portal, uh, all kind of custom VMs, uh, networking databases, uh, storage accounts, like almost any anything that a customer needs. Um, okay, so you're basically providing that awesome single portal. Uh, the customer can choose the service he needs and then basically he chooses to like what do you say like the platform like again as you mentioned it could be azure stack hub it could be azure uh it could be other uh, like other things for for example for virtual machines and then he basically chooses like on the connections he basically chooses the kind of like regions or stamps if i understand it correctly and then exactly. he can actually go deploy and he always exactly. gets the same experience awesome exactly i i can do just one deployment right now if we are having time for that I can uh, easily deploy a, a virtual machine. Let's say uh, you can choose which uh, <laughs> which platform to deploy. Let's do it on Azure Stack. Okay, let's do it on Azure Stack. Um, I have onboarded this uh, this tenant to to ECU, but if the a customer wants to deploy like uh, more infrastructure and he wants to to do a disaster recovery backup, uh, we can onboard that tenant to more than one uh, stamp, uh, and then he can uh, do redundancy between them. He can do failover, disaster recovery, backup, and so on. So in case one step, uh, stamp is failing, they have another one which is running in another location, which okay. I think. Okay, that is that point. is very important. Yeah, yes, this I is a very cool solution. Yes, indeed. So we are selecting Azure, uh, Azure Stack Istio. We are having the, the marketplace from that stamp. So it's this is the marketplace just for that stamp. If I'm selecting another stamp, it will be another marketplace depending on which uh, VMs, uh, which images I downloaded in the stamp, into the stamp. 
So uh, let's try to deploy Windows Server in this case. Uh, we are selecting the SKU for, for, uh, for this VM, a hybrid cloud offer, which is a subscription that when, when a new customer is it's, uh, onboarding to the hybrid solution, he will receive a subscription for this platform, which he can use it uh, anywhere in vCenter, VMware, Hyper-V, anywhere. Uh, resource group, he can select the default resource group. He can choose uh, an existing uh, resource group to, uh, to deploy the VM. In my case, this one, I will choose a, a subscription that I have in, in Azure Stack right now. Uh, this template, it's an ARM template, which can be uh, customized by every uh, by a single small thing, like you can edit uh, exactly like you are editing in Azure Public, even more because it's customized. Uh, we can choose a VM name for this one demo. Microsoft. We are selecting the disk type, standard premium. Let's select standard and virtual machine size, which are exactly the the sizes that you can find in you can find in Azure Stack right now. Uh, let's go for one faster. Uh, this one. Next, uh, admin username and password. Okay. Now you can also see the price estimated cost of that VM into the hybrid portal, uh, which cannot be found in Azure Stack as of now, but maybe in the future. Uh, but th this is a good uh, a good point of selling, if, if you ask me, as even if you are not uh, a salesman, if you are a technical guy, you you must know how you will pay for that, for that VM, which is uh, great. Then uh, the deployment has started, but before that, you have as an administrator, let's say you have an IT manager in a company or a, a director, which is approving your request so that you cannot deploy 100 VM in one night and tomorrow you are going to pay a lot of money for that. So in that case, I will approve the deployment. Okay, that is that is that is also I I know that a lot of like customers and, and especially enterprise customers are also looking for that like the approve like first of all obviously the number like you showed the cost of the VM like to yes. actually understand okay what is the cost but then also to have actually this approval step which um so that not everyone can just go out and approve yeah. a lot uh, deploy a lot of VMs right indeed and indeed and the manager can receive emails for any any uh, deployment. Uh, also, they can limit the uh, number of CPUs or uh, hard drive and uh, memory and so on. There are a lot of limitations that you can you can uh, set for your company, for your department. Depends on uh, what you need. Okay, I approved it. So in this case, I'm going back to the tenant portal. Uh, request management. I will see that the, my deployment job is created. And now I'm just waiting for the VM to be created. Okay. If I'm, if I'm going to the Azure Stack, soon I should see a resource group, a new resource group, which is here. And now it's the the VM is created. Nice. Okay. That is that is pretty cool to have that. Like again, and it it would be kind of like the same steps for like any other Azure Stack Hub stand, yes. but also for Air, public Azure, for example, and the VMware integration. So that that is pretty cool. And the thing um, is, the 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 thing is, uh, which is for me as an IT guy, it's important to not have too many templates, too many ways to deploy things. Yeah, absolutely. So now this this is this is pretty cool. Um, one thing you just mentioned, and I'm I'm very interested in that how that works. You mentioned about disaster recovery, um, like when you deploy on one stamp. And I know that a lot of customers also like obviously we have this boundary of like having one Azure Stack Hub as a stamp. Um, but then, since you have multiple stamps, you, you, you spoke a little bit about DR uh, capabilities. Um, can you talk a little, little bit, just quickly, about how, how that like works and what you're offering there for the customer? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, we, this is the uh, Live Go platform that we are uh, that I am showing right now. We have another uh, platform for testing purposes. So uh, 
in the in the admin uh, portal we can uh, we added in the into the the testing platform we added the vim and convolt as a connection and we are doing uh, let's say some kind of failover between uh, between the the stems we have identical vms on both stems and we are switching between them to see how it works to see how fast it is and, and so on and we are also working for uh, for for the backup. We are working with uh, with Vin for that. Okay, okay, that is pretty cool. So good. it's just integrating, like integrating even more solutions yep. to like improve yes. the Azure Stack Hub yes. experience. Yes. And okay. and you can also choose custom at any time. So if you have your own uh, platform or uh, solution, let's say solution that we are not having right now, but you can come with with your solution and we we are going to integrate with the platform oh, uh, okay we can manage all the vms from here but i will uh, i guess i have uh, i have another uh, i have some vms here which you can download the rdp from the web yeah like like in uh, public azure or okay no this is awesome no this uh, i like that very much so I know this was this was amazing. I, I learned a lot about the solution. I'm still excited by this, like having that single point, um, like the single portal to actually deploy VMs to public Azure, but also to Azure Stack Hub. Um, again, and Binbox does offer services in Romania, but also like Western Europe as well. Um, so if now people and customers are interested in, in, in your solution, uh, where can they find more? They can, they can visit our uh, website beambox.com and also they can email us or contact us via via the forms they even phone us we we actually are are available 24 hours a day no, with, with that, thank you very much, uh, the Winbox team, uh, Emmanuel, TB, and Kosti. Uh, thank you for being in this call today and showing me your, your awesome solution um, on top of Azure Stack Hub or using Azure Stack Hub. Um, and thank you to all the viewers. I hope I see you in the next video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tom.